Hey everybody, it's Carly here and I got a little bit different angle, but I thought it would be fun to kind of open the planner that I picked up, which is um, one of the new Disney Princess Happy Planners. I had picked this up at Walmart. There's several different versions of these. You can check out the Happy Planners website. They're, they're supposed to be available at Joann's. And that's where I picked up some of the paper inserts. And of course, Michael's has a couple of them. And there may be some other craft stores. I know Walmart, Joann's, and Michael's has them. I haven't seen them at Hobby Lobby, but who knows um, if they'll make an appearance there at Hobby Lobby. So I just thought it would be fun to open this up together and take a look at it. I need to get it set up. If you remember in my haul, I picked up the Princess uh, pink discs. These are the medium discs and uh, I thought they're really really cute. They have the little crown as the cutout and they're cute and pink and they will match this planner. So I, I will probably eventually switch these little discs out. They came with the blue heart discs and then of course I have these. I figure we'll open these up. Hopefully the desk doesn't shake too much. So let's take uh, so a little bit of time to open this up again it's the happy planner and hopefully this angles okay and so this is the vertical layout that's what you need to do when you're looking at the different types of um, happy planners the insides are different some of them are journals some of them are calendars some of them are dated some of them are not so you really need to think about what type of calendar you want this one is a 12 month planner and i think it's dated so let's go ahead and open it up so this is for 2021 and here's the inside cover and the great thing that i like about the happy planners are the covers are laminated with a nice thick laminate and then you have your inside cover then your pay front page i'm gonna go ahead and cut this so i haven't opened it yet and together we're going to take a look to see what's inside. I'm very excited about this. I was happy that I was able to pick one up. And again, there's quite a few different versions of them. Um, Michael's had the princesses, but as you can see, these are all like framed out. They had some that were there more all together in like a photo. Um, so you just have to go look at their website and see which one you like. You can definitely probably order from there as well. I like to look at things and pick them up Plus, I like to use coupons and get things on sale. This was at Walmart, not able to use a coupon, but you can at Michael's and Joann's. A lot of times they're on sale. So just, you know, I like to be cost effective. So let's take a look. So all the happy planners, if you've had one before, if you've seen it, it says, usually has a title page where you can write your name. And the beauty about this design is that all of these pages, because it's basically like the arc system, they can pop in and out so you don't rip your page and you can move things around rather easily. So one thing that I was considering, if I find another format that I like, is mixing some of the inserts from another planner to this one. And because this one is just these three, it's Cinderella, Tiana, is it Tiana, Tatiana, I can't remember, and then Snow White. So I thought if I got a different format with some of the other princesses, I could actually combine them and then mix and match them. But we'll see if that happens. So then you have an overall page with the three princesses and an overall view of the entire year. It looks like this is 2021 and this is 2022. So that's kind of an easy guide if you wanna look something up and then plan for the following year. And then this is really cool. So you have these planning pages for the whole year, the different weeks all the way through. And again, you can move these around. Then it starts off, you have your, your monthly tabbed page. So then on this side, you have a place where you have a quick look at the days, how they are scheduled. And then you have some 
little dot journaling where you can do to-do lists, goals for the month, whatever you want to do. And then, of course, you can write your important dates. But look, I love this because, again, I can move these around. I could use these, you know, in another book if I want to. And I just love Disney. I love, I'm so excited about this book. And you can come in here and, and mix and match things. I have other things. For example, I'm going to reach for this. This one's a longer format for one of my larger books. But you can get these in this. So I could come in here and add some of these. But this one's for the larger one. But I do have others. They're just out of my reach right now where they will fit in this format which is a little smaller. I like this format. It fits in my briefcase a little bit better. And I do have a larger format that stays here. But I like this one because a lot of times this one will go with me um, on appointments and stuff. And then I have these pages that we can take a look at in a few minutes. And um, so I love that. So let's take a look. So each month has its own divider. And each divider is a little bit different. So then it starts off your whole month. And this is what I like about this format is I have room to write some general goals or reminders for the entire month. I have an overview of the whole month and look at the cute little, um, holiday reminders, new year's national, national sticker day. Who knew? And then that's coming up and then Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I just love it. So you can come in here and decorate it all up with your stickers and do some monthly planning. I like this at the quick glance. And then the next pages come in and give you each day where you can come in and write in what you'll, you know, a little more detail. So a lot of times when I plan, I will plan the month out on the this two-page spread. And then I come in here and add more detail of what I actually did. That's kind of like what I do. But you do have more room on the side to put notes and highlights. And then, of course, it goes through the entire month. And look, some of the pages have some quotes. Look at the cute little clip art. I like that it's not overly decorated. That way I can, um, I like a lot of room to write. So a lot of times I don't go and decorate the pages. Sometimes I will, but not all the time because I usually use up all the room that I need. So I like that. So that is January, and then it goes into February. So isn't that cute? So the same format, and then there's your your um, first tab. I have the dogs barking. So I won't show every month, but let's just go. We'll do the overall um, look at the month. I'll skip those inserts, and then there's March with Cinderella and the fairy godmother. Same. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love it. And then there's the overall month. Mermaid Day. How fun is that? International Women's Day. Daylight Savings. Spring Begins. Can't wait for that. I do love winter. I love the snow. And then there's April. See the good in every day. That's the truth. And there's your overall look. So that does have some of the other princesses highlighted for Earth Day. That's a, a good princess to use. Pocahontas. And then there's May. Plans are dreams in the making. And you have foil accents. There's the month overall. And then June. Isn't that cute? And then July. And August. You are made of magic. So they're kind of repeating with the three princesses. They each get their months. And there's Cinderella again, similar to the other one. This one's a little more plain. So I might would come in here and add a quote or decorate that up a little bit more. There's that. Always be you for October and November. So they're all very similar. And then finishing out the year in December. Never be afraid to chase your dreams. Absolutely. So isn't that cute? Just love it. And then there's some note pages. At the very end, the back page. So I can come in here and add some of these. So let's take a look. 
and you get plenty of room to expand this. So I'll leave that right there. There's my other um, discs. And let's take a look at this. But these are some inserts. A lot of times I'll put extras of these at the back and a few at the front. That way when I need an extra notes page, I'll have them. Because the, the pages themselves don't leave a lot of room for note taking. So this has um, the dot journaling and then the lines for doing journals. And then the back has today's highlights and then some lines. So aren't these cute? So I can actually come in and add some of these. So they're all the same. But I like it because it's so easy to come in here. Let me add a couple at the front. We have an overall. Let me get past this. Let me go ahead and I'll put one right after the... No, I like that open. I'll do it right... I'll do it right here. We'll just add one in here. Uh, there's a two or three here now. So see how easy this is? And I can move these around. And even if you buy some of the smaller formats, which I have some of the notes, uh, little small ones, and like this one I showed you earlier, this one's too long for this, but I could cut it. Um, but you can come in here and add. And I like that I have different types, different, different types in here to switch around. So I will put this aside and I won't bore you guys with setting that up. But let's open up this other note page that I got. These don't have names either. If you get 40 sheets of them. And get that aside. So this one is Leave a Trail of Magic Wherever You Go. So it has Mickey and Minnie on it. How cute. And this is just for journaling. Like dot bullet dot, dot journaling. And then the back. Start living your dreams. So I like these for note taking as well. And they're all the same. Oh, no, we got two different ones in this one. Do have two in the other one? Let's go back and look. So this one's really cute. So I can write things here, and then I have notes. So that's really cute. Let me double check, make sure these weren't all, if they, are these all the same. Yeah, these are all the same. Yeah. Those are all the same, but in this pack, I get two different types. So how fun is that? So I can come in here and really set up my planner, but I just thought it would be fun to share with you guys um, what it looks like on the inside. Do you guys do any planning? Let me know what you think. Were you able to get one of these Disney planners? And let me know what you think. And um, comment below and let me know. I love Disney. You guys know I've done a lot of Disney projects. And um, I can't wait. I may pick up a couple of others. I would love to get one of these and actually make it into like a Disney um, memory book. So... Alright guys, so that's a quick look at my Disney Happy Planner. I'm going to spend a, a few minutes tonight and getting January set up and reorganizing this, changing the discs out. And um, yeah, if you're interested in seeing it, let me know. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video to how it all turns out. Alright guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Again, kindness is magic. That's true. Be kind to one another. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.